Honestly, this has to be like one of the saddest politics as usuals we've ever done. You know, like we keep saying it over and over again, yet it's still happening. Like we will applaud the essential workers. We are loving them for doing their work out there, saving the communities. Yet we're literally putting people back into prison. We're like putting people back into shitty jobs. This is crazy what's happening here. Um, so uh, I know everyone remember about the inmate firefighters. I don't know if people remember that. So California is pretty much being burnt down by like, you know, climate change and stuff. So instead of like, you know, you know, getting the resources to help California, they're, they're doing the opposite. It's so weird to me. But first, I want to I want to show you like this, the happy story um, that everyone was clapping for, um, which is pretty much like allowing inmate firefighters with these incredible skills to like put out fires for rich people. So um, so let's play this real quick. With wildfires destroying thousands and thousands of acres in California, it's become more obvious how much the state relies on inmate firefighters to help. There are currently more than 1,300 incarcerated individuals fighting 19 fires in the state. Now, through a new law, AB 2147, California will allow former inmates to become firefighters after their release through record expungement. It's life changing for former inmate and now firefighter Michael T. Jabri. It's you. I have to say, a weight off my shoulders. I, I'm not. Sure, I'm not angered now, by this at all. What? I, what? I have to say, I'm not angered by this at all. This is this is something that we complained about here on Black Power Magic Hour when we first started reporting on the fact that these firefighters were working for a dollar a day and they they would come out of prison and then they couldn't even become firefighters like what was the point of having these programs in the first place but now that they have this kind of pathway and then you're talking about record expungement which yeah. makes it easier for them to go from being a firefighter to some other useful profession that yeah. can enrich them and enrich their communities i yeah. think it's a really good thing yeah i think it's good i, I don't even think it's terrible i think all these people need to go back to jail you know, and fight in the showers. Go apply for a job. I don't have that huge shadow. Yo, what the fuck is wrong? You know, <laughs> you know, when I go interview, they're looking at Michael Jabri. They're not looking at Michael Jabri's past. It's going to help a lot of people out, and it's going to be gen it's going to be a generational shift in the right direction for many, because now they could be better role models for. Uh, for their kids and their kids' kids. Some experts say the new law is just one aspect of reform and that changes need to happen at the constitutional level. So it's important to note that because of the way in which the 13th Amendment was ratified Good Lord. with mm -hmm. this punishment clause, the 13th mm -hmm. Amendment abolished slavery and involuntary Taking servitude. Taking it back to the 13th Amendment. Made it okay as punishment for a crime. If there were people who were convicted, now you could make those people do all sorts of labor. The West Coast fire season has brought the issue of forced labor into the public eye again. There are still many different occupations behind bars in California and elsewhere where people are forced into labor. And in this instance, it's still not a not being forced into labor and these kinds of conditions. It's just that there's also some now sensitivity around it in terms of the possibility of expungement of records and other things. This is Inside Edition Digital. So that looks that's like a really hopeful thing. That's so hopeful. But but Dr. Regius, you found this like, you know, the opposite of hopeful uh, dystopia. Which is like, what are people I mean, doing? I guess I wanna that's my job on the show, right? Yeah, I, 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 I want to share this. Hope. Yeah, I got to share this. So you got to tell me about this shit. This is wild. Um, so we had that hopeful video about, you know, that guy said, Michael said it's a generational shift in what's happening, you know. But, you know, they were to put generations back with this. So what is up with this? Yeah, so what they're doing is because, you know, they want to do the prison reform, they are closing a bunch of facilities and also closing down programs with it the problem is what are you supposed to do during the fire season because the state hasn't done a good enough job of making firefighter jobs attractive enough to make sure that they're fully fucking staffed so they i guess you know in a bid to cut costs hey Instead of paying this guy a living wage to do something that we desperately need, you know, a service that we desperately need done. Hey, instead of doing that, how about 
we make these prisoners do it. And then when there's not enough prisoners in the prison, maybe we can let all of our houses burn down along with the, uh, you know, the, the forest, you know, along with the trees and all that stuff. So um, now, you know, they are scrambling to try to find ways to uh, make up the deficit because they relied on basically free labor for so long. Isn't that crazy? Soon as like, soon as like the inmates, firefighters have the avenue to actually get paid real wages. Well, we shut it down. You know, <laughs> it's time to shut it down. It's not a coincidence. You know, like soon as like there's a pathway for inmates to actually use these skills to actually get real living wages. Now it's time to shut it down. You know, like this is, I, I don't know if that's a coincidence, but you know, so. This is crazy. Um, so pretty much, so pretty much a lot of a lot of scenarios uh, played out last year. Um, pretty much, um, pretty much Bridge, one of the supervisors for uh, Lawson County, uh, Bridges watched as inmate crews were deployed to help contain the North Complex fire. Uh, I know people remember the like the sky was fucking red. It was like the apocalypse. You know, I think last year was such a crazy year. People forgot the fucking Armageddon. getting red skies mm -hmm. but this is what happened last year and because of these fires. also what of, happened in australia too very quick to forget about that too yeah and it wasn't for those inmates they would have lost the whole mountain yo it would have been exactly. way bigger apocalypse if it wasn't for those inmates um, and remember remember all the people that think they're better than everybody because they paid five million eight million twelve million i paid 20 million and then when the fucking uh fire season comes oh my god I, I need the inmates to come save my multi-million dollar home. So this is wild to me. Um, so is this like in October, state officials announced the closure of eight inmate fighting firefighter camps, four of them in Northern California, and the consolidation of inmates into 35 remaining camps. Um, so they're saying the decision is to make better staff and response for firefighters and emergency, that's your, that's what they're saying. It makes them better um, ready to have less people fighting fighters, apparently. Um. I mean, I think the real issue is, I mean, it's great that we want to reduce recidivism and raise hope among, among inmates. But how about making the jobs uh, more attractive to everyday people? Because obviously you don't have enough people. And you, you remember... Uh, a lot of the scandals that we had here in New York City, of course, they don't get the kind of fire duties that uh, that firefighters in California have. But for a very long time, they tried very hard to keep out Hispanics and blacks. And it's like, well, you need all the fucking help you can get. You know, we made, and we actually did a segment about the, the the AI buses, whatever the buses drive themselves mm -hmm. in UK, how they're trying to relabel the bus drivers as safety operators in order to, like mm -hmm. to pay them less. So mm -hmm. Calif that's unfortunate. Thing. This is another side of the story. So California is kind of doing the same thing. Instead of calling forestry technicians, instead, yeah, instead of calling firefighters, calling them forestry technicians. Um, so of course, uh, people are you know what are not technical gonna... about trees growing out of the fucking ground. Fuck <laughs> you. So only seventy percent of crews are expected to fully staff this year because you know people want to be firefighters, not you know forestry technicians. But sounds like you're going to pay them less. Um, I mean, so, a forestry technician sounds like you're a fucking janitor. Like, I'm sweeping the dirt around <laughs> the forest. That's what Trump wanted, that. right? He wanted to sweep. That's the idea, to wake the leaves and wake the, the branches and stuff. I forgot about that. Yeah, that crazy. So, literally, I mean, Trump Trump is a broken clock twice, man. Um, I know. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, it's, and, 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 again, like. You know, we've been talking a lot during our Dash and Bash segments about how they want to do everything they can to not only hold the wages down for different jobs, but they want you to know how proud they are to do that. But then they get mad when nobody wants to take the job. Like, why would I want to go get charbroiled in the fucking forest? So I want Why would I want to do that? Like, yeah, what, so what is the incentive? So I'm going to switch to the other side about the forestry technicians, because um, that, that's the other side of the story. The federal wild, wildland firefighters say they're burnt out after years of low pay and little job stability. So the forestry technicians push for better working conditions. 
you know. So you know, this is unbelievable that this is happening. Like, how dare they? You know, we we what is happening here? Do we just want California to burn down? I don't mind, you know. So um, it's California, great. no doubt about it. Got it. burned out <laughs> <laughs> in the city. On flames exists no more. <laughs> so um, in the city, so it now burned the, down. <laughs> So Golden was a temporary. No one lives there. Yo, these titles get, or yo, these titles <laughs> getting more more pathetic. Yo, temporary seasonal forestry technician. Um, yo, so, that sounds like what? <laughs> that sounds like what happens at the end of the year, and they get that you know the shipping companies they get the helpers. Yeah, yeah. That they and and they don't even get a full uniform. They just get like this bullshit fucking brown yeah. vest. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, and and yeah, yeah, we're seasonal employees yeah. <laughs> getting paid nothing, no job protection. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm real proud to have this job. Yo, so this is so like this is crazy to me. Not only that, you know, the people, average normal citizens, civilians who don't have criminal records, you know, are being treated like garbage. The the fucking inmates are being treated. Everyone's being treated like garbage. So what are you like going to do when the firefighters say, you know what, fuck it, I'll learn the code. How about yeah. that? Now I'm a video game developer. And now when the fires come, I'm just going to get in my fucking truck, pack my shit, and go east. Yeah, exactly. Y'all, exactly. And just let the shit burn down. Because yeah. y'all don't really value us. But then when you when there's nobody there, all of a sudden it's a fucking problem. So I think, I think this is what they worried about. I think they worried about the fact that the inmates had such good advocacy to get their things going. They worry that that momentum is going to move on to the forestry technicians even more and help their movement. So I feel like it's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts here in the sense of like the inmate cutting down the inmate firefighter training and as well as not paying forestry technicians their proper dues, all giving them PTSD because fighting, we, we showed you clips of that. Who the fuck is going to drive into towards the fire? That's like post-traumatic exactly. stress syndrome right there, you know? So, Yo, did you see that movie that they put out on Netflix um, about the fucking forestry technician type people. Forestry technician. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, Paradise PD? No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it wasn't Netflix. It was HBO Max. My bad. Oh, okay. Uh, it was a film called Those Who Wish Us Dead or some shit like that. You serious? Yeah. It was about wildfire workers. Like wildfire. Well, wildfire. It, it was, it was uh, a, you know, like a murder suspense type. Oh, of that's where Angela Jolie's in it. I didn't want to mention the name, but yes. Oh, so what is that she's... movie even about? Because I watched the trailer and it makes no sense to me. This looks like a woman running through the woods on fire with a kid. Basically, <laughs> Littlefinger from Game of Thrones is like, you know, I guess hired by the government to like do really foul shit to people who witness stuff that they didn't want them to see because then, you know, the American people know that you're corrupt. Oh, just like so they real send life? this guy. They sent him. And they also sent the guy that uh, plays Beast in X Men. They sent him. They sent both of them to like murder like innocent people in the in the district attorney's office in the middle of they, uh, they found that, fire? You know. So why is she running to the woods on fire? Then what has to do with right? So what they did was it was like, well, we have to kill everybody that sees our face. Yeah. So instead of doing that, let's intentionally set a massive fire <laughs> that burns down half of california <laughs> trying to find the son of a of a person that they kill so they can kill his son oh my god so then what? like the son runs into angelina jolie and you know this mad you know they set this massive fucking wildfire using flares just throwing well, flares in the forest on purpose well, well. Well, I mean, it kind of feels like they're setting the fire, the forest on fire on purpose right now by not staff, not paying firefighters properly. So it looks like they're doing the same thing in real life. So. Those who wish us all dead. <laughs> real life edition. Real life edition. For real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only reason why I mentioned the film, because I don't like talking about films that other people haven't seen. Yeah. Only reason because it's apropos to, to you know, to the, to the subject. You Pretty know? much. Like, cause... if you actually watch the film and you see just the scale of what the fire looks like when cuz of course it's fiction but when you look at the scale of these fires if you're standing there and the fires are working their way towards you that was one of the things that I took from the film just 
you know, yes, it's a work of fiction. I get it, but it's just the, tra- the but trailer is the trailer is bad enough that you can watch. We we'll see if we can watch. Um... Yeah, you can pull that up. Yeah. Well, I'm just lucky, I guess. We zoom ahead to the fire. Lo, 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 lo. Okay, here we go. See us the fires. That's our job. Where's the fires? My dad's. There you go. You're gonna run. Yeah, it really gives you like it gives you an impression of what these firefighters, what they go through, and how quickly these fires can move. Take a deep breath. Hold it. It also teaches you, do, you know, never trust little finger, because, you know, he's little finger. Yeah. So pretty much, you know, Governor Newsom wants those fires to be all over the place and no one putting them out. So thank you, thank you, Governor. So, uh, how about we stop paying lip service by flapping our gums and flapping our fingers and smacking them together, and uh, pay people essential money for essential services? Let's yeah. do that. Yeah, they'd rather pay people a dollar an hour um, than pay people at they all. They think that they're entitled. Yeah. They think that that's just part of the... P- hey, you got some people that get paid, and then there are other fires, firefighters that just don't get paid. And it's okay. <laughs> forestry, like that. forestry technicians. Seasonal forestry technicians. That's what would you do if people just stopped committing crimes? Would you just gonna <laughs> let the fires burn? <laughs> Fuck wrong. Man... We got, we got oh, yeah, cl- 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 close it out, son. Close it out. Close it out. <laughs> this is close like out the, the most frustrating shit. Like, so this is Black Power Magic Hour. Twitter, we're back on Facebook for the moment until they ban us for some for, for being for talking about stuff. And then, um, we're on Twitch. <laughs> we're not talking about Nazism, so we're gonna get banned. So, um, so, uh-huh. you know, so Dr. Regenius, he's live on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, talking shit. And that's politics as usual. <laughs>